once I st we start working on you, you may not want to say that. So don't be in a rush <laughs> Don't be in a rush on day one. Once we start working with you, you may hate the people around you for some time. Before it turns into love, it'll take some more time. You know, initially if you do simply anything, it hurts. At that time, you hate the people who made you do that. It takes some time for it to reap the benefits. When benefits come, you may again fall in love with us. We'll wait till then <laughs> And uh, you don't sit here and choose your guru, hmm? you just be here. It will happen. If you find something really worthwhile, it will happen. If you don't, no problem. I am not longing to be anybody's guru. If you are willing, I'll help you. You want to do it yourself, I'm fine with this. What's my problem? Only thing is, uh, when you walk an unknown terrain, when you walk an unknown terrain, to find something which is in the neighborhood, you may go around the world and still miss it. So a guru is uh, like the GPS. You drive with the GPS, where do you come from? Which country? Country, Mexico. Mexico, okay. In Mexico you use GPS? Yes. Yes, sometimes, <laughs> where there are roads <laughs> So, uh, if you use a GPS, some strange voice tells you, turn right, you turn right, turn left, you turn left, take a U-turn, you take a U-turn. You do this, right? So, today you are already prepared for a guru with the GPS. It actually means guru positioning system, you know <laughs> So you already been prepared. You don't go guru shopping, don't do that. If something touches you, you will have no choice. Nothing touches you, why should you waste your time? Fair enough. The guru is not the person that you see. As a… as a person I'm quite horrible, people know all the time I'm poking at them at something. <laughs> it's not the person. Fortunately, it's a fortune that it's happening through a certain person, that's all. If it was happening through that bird, maybe it is teaching you yoga, but you won't get it, isn't it? Hmm? Hmm? Would you get it from that bird? Maybe it is espousing the highest wisdom, but you won't get it, because it is happening through another creature somewhat like you, of your kind. It's a fortune. If it happened through a rock, you wouldn't get it. If it happened through a bird, you wouldn't get it. If it happened through a snake, you wouldn't get it. It has happened like this in the past, even now. But people will completely miss it. Suppose a cobra came here, a guru, teaching. You won't get it, isn't it? So it's happening through another form of life which is similar to you, this is the best opportunity you have. So don't get lost in the person, something happens through the person, don't resist that. A guru does not mean it's a commodity that you take home. 
If you touch that dimension which dispels your darkness, it anyway goes with you. You don't have to take it. You don't have to take me in your handbag. If you allow it, if you allow yourself be touched, it will anyway go with you. Nobody can get rid of it. That will be your biggest problem, you can't get rid of me. <laughs> Even if you go to Mexico.